Hi, I'm Lizzie from Lizzie Loves Healthy, and I'm here to share another lovely recipe with my friends at Simproof. So these are my really favourite summer evening treats. Mini Parmesan polenta pizzas. They're super easy to put together, really cheap. Polenta is used all over Italy and we sort of forget it here, but it's a super cheap, really healthy, delicious staple. So what we do is we use polenta, sim simple polenta that you can get anywhere. And um, you want the quick cook variety and you just tip it into a pan with some boiling water. And the key is to whisk it together. So you can add butter or coconut oil if you'd like. I'm adding some olive oil here. And for flavor, some delicious fresh sprigs of rosemary, which I'm just gonna tear up and put in like that. So they create a delicious Italian flavor. Some Parmesan, which always tastes delicious and you want to keep whisking and once it's thickened up like that you can have I, I what I like to do is make double and you can have this as a side with whatever you're having for dinner as a sort of mashed potato alternative and then tip it in to our little pot and put it in the fridge ready for your pizzas that you can make later. Tip it into your pot to make ready for your pizzas the next day. I mean anything round works, you just want a cylinder shape that you can then slice, as I'll show you in a minute, into lovely crispy pizza bases. So that will just go and sit in the fridge um, and once it's cooled down you put it in the fridge and then it's, it goes really solid and then we're going to take it out and slice it into pizzas. So once it's been in the fridge overnight in your soup pot or whatever cylindrical container you have it should go really nice and firm up like this and at that point you just slice and you get lovely pizza bases. So what you do then, once you have your lovely round discs of polenta, is you put some oil in a pan and you fry them until they are brown and crispy and delicious. don't cook them enough they can collapse a bit so you don't want that. As soon as they're browning up they go really crisp and hard so then they won't fall apart. So don't be tempted and impatient and flip them all over too early. So once you've fried them up in a little bit of oil you start to assemble them into whatever, whatever little pizza toppings you want to add to them. So I'm going to be using my wild garlic pesto, which um, I had in the fridge, but use whatever you want. I'm going to be putting on the top a little piece of sun-dried tomato, so probably not a whole one. I'm going to chop a sun-dried tomato in half. they've got quite a strong flavour too. And there you go, you've got a delicious little pesto pizza. 